for this guy, man. What a kid. What an all-star. What a rock school kid. I think I've told this story a hundred times on stage, and I've told it to plenty of people off stage as well, because it speaks to just what kind of transformation happens here. But uh, I directed a show called Y2K. I think it was back in 2000 and something. It had to be four or five years ago, right? 14, 13, something like that. A bunch of these kids did it as their first show, Matt and Daniel and, and some of the other kids. Um, but I remember coming in and, and somebody saying, yeah, this Matt Wariski kid signed up and he only wants to do Y2K because he only likes the band Green Day. And he heard there might be a Green Day song in it. So if you can't put him in the show, he doesn't want to do it. He doesn't want to do his show. So I was like, are you kidding me? Like, He's not, you know, he's already, he just signed up and he's already telling me what to do. I hate this kid. Uh, but like nobody signed up for that show that season. So we put all the new kids in it and a bunch of them turned out to be amazing uh, rock school kids. I put them on the Green Day song, which I never do, but it just worked out and I hated the Green Day song. And the girl who sang it didn't sing loud and it was a whole thing. Uh, but man, if this kid didn't turn out to be one of the best ever. He's an amazing guitar player. He plays piano and trumpet and harmonica. Somewhere along the line, he figured out how to be a great drummer. Uh, and he's just a great person all around. Everything I've ever asked him to do, he's done it with all the heart and passion and love that you could ever expect from a rock school kid. Um, one of the coolest things that's ever happened at the school last year or two years ago uh, Dweezil Zappa showed up at one of our Zappa shows and actually sat in and played with the kids. Uh, and it all started because Matt sent a, a little Instagram message to him and his wife saw it and replied and they were happened to be flying back into Philly that day and they showed up, they called and they were like, hey, this is Dweezil Zappa. Is it okay if we come to your Frank Zappa show? And we were like, are you kidding? Like, come and meet the kids and do a class. and. So uh, I got this little uh, gift right here from Matt that I've never told anybody about. But when Dweezil, uh, when Dweezil showed up, he was doing like a Kickstarter campaign uh, for his records. So I made a donation on behalf of the school. Uh, and one of the gifts we got was his uh, album uh, on vinyl autographed. And I want to give that to Matt right now. Because, because that was like the coolest thing that ever happened here. And he deserves this. So. I'm not done yet. Matt's a special kid, so he gets a couple extra minutes here. We've got his Wall of Fame picture right here. He's gone up on the Wall of Fame. 20 shows, School of Rock All-Star, two years in a row. This kid's legit. He's, I'd put him up there with any kid that's going through the program. Uh, tell us real quick, uh, we know your first show was Y2K, and I'm sure your last show was Steely Dan. What was your favorite show that you've done here? Probably Zappa. Zappa, okay, because Dweezil showed up. If Donald Fagan had come to watch us play Steely Dan, maybe that would make the list. Uh, tell these wonderful people what you're doing in the fall. Uh, I'm going to go to Columbia College, Chicago, uh, studying music. Cool, Columbia. What do you think about Deep Dish Pizza? Let's, let's get into it. It's good. I like it. What do you guys think about Deep Dish Pizza? Is it, is it all right. Matt's going to Chicago. Uh, he's got a lot of talent. I don't know what he's going to do. He might be one of those kids who's too smart to be a musician. He might want to make money. Or he might actually go out and do something awesome. But uh, I'll be rooting for him. I'll be cheering for him. I hope you guys will, too. Follow this kid. Matt Wariski. Let's hear it for him. He picked a Frank Zappa song. This is Montana here. Let's do it. This song is about dental floss. Uh, I hope that... Brent is up. that I can sell it now. By myself, I wouldn't 
have no boss Cause I'd be raising my lonely dental flaw I wouldn't have no boss. I'd be raising. 
in my lonely dental floss. If I just jump back on. song in the first set. Uh, I hope you guys are having a good time. I know it's a long show, but hopefully you're feeling the magic out there. We got 17 kids singing.